The town is ours. They're fleeing into the woods in total disarray. What about Rajani? You saw how she fights. She calls fire at will, and her eyes, they're like mine. Who are you, girl? You look like someone I knew. You speak with her voice. But that woman is dead and gone. Anjali is one of us. A child of the Legion. Like me. My friend speaks the truth, Rajani. Whoever you think I am, you're wrong. Or perhaps you're a false prophet, meant to lead me astray. If you fight for the Legion, you're an enemy. Nothing more. The Legion's done nothing to you. My lady has told me of the Legion's crimes. She defeated you once, and she'll defeat you again. Jane Cassinda, the old enemy. Thirty years on, and she's still hunting the Legion. And why should she not? You're traitors. Kingslayers. Murderers. How can we be a threat to you? We don't even know who you are. She's an Archon! I know it sounds mad, but look at her! Just like the stories, only she's real. What do these stories say about Archons? They were divine messengers, heralds of the old creator gods. You see their pictures in books. Statues of them are supposed to bring luck. Kingslayers? Murderers? What does she mean? Lies. Stories that the old king was murdered by the Legion. That's how Jane Cassinda turned the people against us. She claimed that the Legion betrayed its oath, tried to seize power for itself. They're not lies. My lady spoke the truth. But believe what you want. We have to decide what to do with her. Suggestions? She attacked a defenseless town, murdered your friends at the estate. Why are we discussing this? Kill her, and let justice be done. Wait. Listen to her words. She's misguided, confused. She fears us. Killing her wouldn't be justice. She's yielded. What if we set her free? Show Jane Cassinda that the Legion still has honor. Rajani. You're free to go. We're not your enemies, and we never were. You're mad. Now my lady will know your strength. Next time she'll send more of us against you. But if that's what you want, then I'll go. I agree with the armored wench. You are mad, both of you, stark and raving. No. We planted a seed. Now we wait and see how it grows. Come. We should return to the Chapter House and decide our next move. Unless you still have business here. Wait, I want to look around first. Take whatever time you need. I'll wait by the door. Are you ready to leave? I'm ready. Let's head back to the chapter house. Against the might of the 10th Legion, even the Archon Rajani could not stand. Jane Cassinder's lieutenant was vanquished. Her mercenary's hold on the Rukenval broken. In times past, the Legion's judgment was merciful and fair. And you chose to spare her life. Who can say how an unexpected mercy might change an enemy's heart? As the folk of the real said about rebuilding, we prepared for our next move. Our old enemy was stronger than she had ever been, and she still plotted our demise. The Rukenval Chapter House would not be our sanctuary, but a staging ground for what was to come. Martin tells me that Jane Cassinder was behind this. 
She acted fast. That means she's afraid. Rajani was full of lies about the Legion. We set her free as a sign of goodwill. If we can make Jane see that she's wrong. You're an idealist, Martin. Don't assume our enemies have honor. Least of all, Jane Cassinder. Why is Jane Cassinder so determined to kill us? The woman's a mystery. Always has been. As far as we know, she was raised by the Azanite Church. An orphan, maybe. Or a rich man's bastard daughter. Must have been 18, 19 years old when the king died. She paraded through the streets of Bisselberg, claimed he'd been murdered by the Legion. Was there any truth in what she said? No. My father would never have died for the Legion if he'd believed Jane's lies. Some Legionnaires did believe. Beaumont of St. Ellis, Garen Marcel, prominent men. They renounced the Legion, stood by while the rest of us were hunted and killed. Why did anyone listen to Jane? She was young, beautiful, full of passion. Spoke like she truly loved the king, but she couldn't have known him. Half the country was in love with her. A living saint, they called her. Still do, out east with the church's strong. And people were jealous. We'd grown too rich and too fat. That was the Legion's sin, if you ask me. So Jane turned the people against us. What then? Jane had the church behind her. She raised mobs in the cities. Bisselberg first, and the towns of the east. Then Stonebridge, Glacier, everywhere else. In Stonebridge, the Legionnaires refused to fight, wouldn't raise their hands against the people, just stood there and died. Montbaron made his last stand here, in Rukenval. The people here stayed loyal, so Jane had to march an army north. You know how it ended. And you were the only survivor. How did you escape? I don't die easy, and I don't believe in noble last stands. Far as I'm concerned, the war's still on, even if I'm the last soldier in the field, until I put a knife in Jane Cassinder's eye. No, I don't believe this has to end in blood. Nor do I, even if Odo thinks me an idealist and a fool. You're not fools, you're just young. And we've spoken enough about the past. Our numbers are too few. Can we find more men and women of Legion blood? Might be a few left. Not enough to build an army. But if we spread the word that the Legion has returned, we can rally Jane's enemies against her. We should start by reclaiming the Grand Chapter House, the old Legion headquarters in Stonebridge. Have you heard any news from Stonebridge? If I had to guess, more smokestacks, more spinning machines, more metal men clanking through the streets. Are you sure the chapter house wasn't destroyed? By the people of Strunbridge? No, they never would. It's their mark of shame. Reminds them how they betrayed the Legion, and they don't dare forget. So the Stonebridge chapter house is different than the others? It's bigger, grander. They built it during our Golden Age, after the heroes destroyed the Sec. We claim that chapter house. Hang our banners out front, people will hear that the Legion's returned. How do we get to Stonebridge, then? Stonebridge lies to the south and west, on the far side of the swamp. Lazar's people have repaired the bridge, so the road should be open again. Martin and I will stay here, for now. Help the locals rebuild. We owe them. They've endured a great deal for our sake. Why send me? We could all go together. The Radiant Youth chose you for a reason. You're meant to lead us, not Martin, not me. We have a causeway gate here. Surely there must be another in Stonebridge. There is, but it's shut. Montbaron ordered most of them closed to stop Jane Cassinder from using them against us. A causeway gate can only be opened from the outside, and only by a privileged few. All right. I'll head south for Stonebridge. Jane Cassinder controls most of the land between here and Stonebridge. Her soldiers wear the raiment of the Azronite Church. 
Avoid them if you can. Once you're inside the chapter house, look for the causeway gate. Open it, and you can bring the rest of us through. You're the vanguard of the Legion. All our hopes go with you. To Stonebridge, I hear? Before you depart, I have something I would discuss with you, if you're willing. The Lascanzi occupation depleted the town's stores. If we cannot replenish them soon, Raven's Rill may not survive the winter. I know the Legion has done a great deal for us already, but I fear I must ask your help again. I take it you have a plan? Indeed. Raven's Rill sees few travelers these days. But I believe the hero's crypt could draw pilgrims from across Ebb, as it once did. With pilgrims would come merchants, and the town could fill its larders before the winter. Tell me about this hero's crypt. The hero's crypt is where the heroes of the Sec Resurgence were interred. It was considered a holy site, and pilgrims flocked to it. After the crypt was sealed, the pilgrims stopped coming. I believe that if we open it again, we can bring prosperity back to Raven's Rill. Why would a holy site be sealed in the first place? I'm not entirely sure. It happened just before the fall of the Legion. Why do you need the Legion's help? The doors of the monument are sealed by Legion magic. They are impervious to any form of counter magic or physical destruction. They can only be opened by the signet rings of the Legion families who commissioned its construction. The Montbarons and the Gundricks. I understand you found both signet rings already. The crypt should open for you now. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Look for the two large statues outside the monument. I'll fetch Grigori. We'll need a scribe to document this historic event. Forgive me. You startled me a bit. I'm afraid I was wrapped up in my studies of this magnificent edifice. Tell me about yourself. What brings you out here? 
I'm a scholar with the Stonebridge Society of Antiquaries. My particular specialization is early goblin renaissance architecture. This structure is a truly remarkable example. Note the intricate cornice work and the marvelously subtle geometries of the roof. Can you tell me anything about this building? Why, this is the hero's crypt. Inside lie the champions who defeated the Sec 150 years ago. I've been studying its history for years. Sadly, I've never been able to do more than observe the exterior. Tell me about the crypt's history. The tomb was originally constructed for the First Lady Montbaron, remembered in popular folklore as the Farmer. And what happened then? As more of the heroes who defeated the sect passed on, they were interred here as well. The crypt became a site of pilgrimage for many. Visitors have reported all sorts of miracles. Good fortune, sickness is healed, that sort of thing. But no one's been inside for 30 years. Why can't you get inside? Ever since Jane Cassinda destroyed the Legion, the tomb has been sealed tight. I think it could still be open, but I have no idea how. Perhaps the old Legion knew, some of them anyway. I've found a way into the crypt. I'm going to open the doors. You did? You have? That's unbelievable! How did you do it? Where did you find it? Uh, oh, never mind. That's not important right now. Could I... Could I go in with you? I've studied the exterior for so long, I'd like to get a look at some of the artifacts inside. You can come along, but be careful. And stay close to me. Wonderful! Let's get the doors open, then. My, that was, well, that was quite something. On second thought, perhaps, uh, perhaps you could go into the crypt yourself and return with some relics for me. I'll see what I can find. What are you looking for? Good, yes, good. Much safer for all of us. <laughs> I'd likely get you killed tagging along, and this way you won't get me killed either. I'm looking for three relics in particular. The Skull of Norik, the Staff of Merrick, and the Sword of Bolingar. If you find any of them, I will of course reward you handsomely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must bring the good news to Lazar. I hear something new in my own. The sound of breath, the quiet footfalls of frightened flesh. That voice, it's coming from somewhere below us.
Skull's luck will save you. I shall enjoy flaying you.
The Lady Montbaron. She started her life as a simple farmer.
Hall of Heroes, Lady Mont Baron had 14 companions, and they are all buried here.
has died with him.
I had not expected the crypt to still be... inhabited. Both Raven's Reel and I owe you a debt. I'll be sending messengers out to inform the people of Ebb that the Hero's Crypt is open again. Doubtless the Pilgrims, and their attendant wealth, will be pouring in soon. In the meanwhile, here, take this as a token of our esteem. Do you have any relics to sell? I found the skull of Norik. Fascinating, if a touch gruesome. Still, I look forward to studying this. Here is your promised reward. Do you have any relics to sell? I found Lord Bolingar's sword. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Here, as promised, your reward. Do you have any relics to sell? I found Merrick's staff. Astounding! To think of the power that once coursed through this, here is your reward. I can't wait to get back to my workshop and begin a full study of these items. <laughs> 